We have the 8th Army 25 pounder, so their light artillery plus their tractor. And this version is the Desert North Africa campaign with a trailer. And as we see here, as I focus this again, we get a the 8 pounder or the 25 pounder. We get the tractor, stack cards, stack decals, and the markers. As it shows right here, it is early war, early and mid. Uh, you could use in late, but you know, usually what this is for those who might want to play bolt action and midnight not be hardcore into lore, lore. I use lore for everything into history. Uh, you just want to play this right here. If you look for it on Warlord game games stuff, will time tell you how, like where it would fit best. So that way you're kind of playing on equal footing with your opponent. That way you don't have like say a a panther who's a, that's a late war fighting against your like Blitzkrieg or your desert like army stuff. So this is saying that. The uniforms, the tractor setup like that is based around these time periods. And then this is the factions that can play it. Again, there's other scenarios, factions, and game stuff where you um, you can use other armies, you know, um, vehicles and stuff. Again, it, it's all very much what your, a, uh, your opponent agrees upon. And let us get into actually unboxing this thing so, right, nothing else is in there so we'll put the box to the side okay so looks like we got a few packs here we got our damage markers we have the 25 pounder itself here all metal and then we have the truck body resin bits in this bubble wrap here so that's the truck and then here's the trailer with the ammo that would also carry that and then on top of that because it doesn't come with bases except for the only base that comes with this is I got a pack of the uh, warlord bases oval bases they've started to include these with uh, weapon schemes so I'm going to take one of the large oval bases so I'm going to take one of the oval bases here and use it for the 25 pounder and the large one I'm gonna I'm gonna attach one of the uh, the guns to the large one so I can have the trailer with it. So I'm just gonna crack that open right now. This is the the trailer. As I, I'll zoom in. Here we go. We have the trailer itself. And then we have the truck, the Morris tractor. Uh, I'm using this as the weird name, Skelly, a ton, whatever, tractor that can pull everything because they don't have a model for that, so. Um, it, we have the tractor here. So the tractor itself, again, as I was saying, uh, shows its faction, when it can be used. This tractor was used throughout the entire war. Stats. And then stats. soft skin stuff so it's cool they actually give you a card for the uh 25 pounder again mid-war so again the, the reason why on the box it says early mid-war is because of the the, the uniforms because the uh Af like war in africa was middle of the war it's when everything started to go better for the allies and then stats but all right here we go they're really nice. Uh, they, uh, 
a little bit water resistant, so it's great if you live in a humid climate. Twist of event. For those who have been... Uh, so Warlord Games, they tell you who packs it, just like War Machine used to do and stuff. But the twist, for those who have been watching the channel for a while, we all know we have our boy, Vass. That's, uh, I even have a YouTube video boy? on them. Is that our boy? Twist. Warlord Games has been pushing their social media game for a while here. And there's a twist where they showed one of their workers. I asked, when will we see our boy Voss? The twist in this is, Voss is not a boy, but a, a female. And it has been a twist, and they said she will be getting a video soon. So here we have, it looks like fenders, uh, a box lid, and uh, tire fenders for the truck, and tow hook. So we have our four tires for, I'm guessing, is the truck. So we'll put that over there. We'll split split these up. The gun. Or even the back of the truck, the weapon. One of the few utility pieces that have that. We have what looks like to be axles and sight. The crew. Gun. Well, I believe I have some regular British guys around here, so I might swap them out. Uh, tires for it. Radiator for the truck. Uh, these are flaps, I believe, for the trailer. Gun shield. Gun frame. I don't know if these are maybe exhaust ports. A hook for the trailer. And then we have the gun itself. Um, basically, it looks like the German one, except for with extended barrel. And then we have a trailer hook that came off. Stuff. So let's get into it again. Safety reasons, uh, make sure you're in a ventilated area and away from animals and children when you're working with resin. I have a window open, uh, clear, the cat stays far away from me, and I have a little vacuum I use to vacuum my spot here when I'm done. So let's get right into it. We're going to build the truck first because it's going to be the easiest and the quickest. So we're going to take a look here. We have flashing, we have the mold and things there. So we're going to this is how I do it. There's YouTube videos online about how to properly detail resin and stuff. Normally I would wash this off first, but I find with Warlord resin stuff, either you'll know it's soaked in a, it's soaked in a mold release, or it's there's very little, and I'll spray it when I'm done building. So here we have the tractor finished. Look at that. I'm gonna build the uh, trailer, which is gonna be super simple.
So we're going to, they have a hatch side. So we're going to glue the hatch on. <laughs> it's done. And then I can just go to this. It's probably going to go here. If I wanted to, I could tractor like that, but I'm not going to glue the tractor down because I want to be able to use it for multiple theaters. So the gun is going to go with it. So we can move the tractor to the side. We can move that to the side. So we don't know how this is going to fit on here. So we're not going to glue it down until we get to it. So with that, we're going to speed rush this because our camera is hitting, it is hitting death. Gun is very much simple to put in because I just spill super glue all over. It just goes into these little holes here. It's all going downhill chat. Or we're just not having it. This gun is not having a day. And a little sneak peek talk. This gun reference is uh, something I'll be doing in the future here once I get battery packed, figure out this whole camera shenanigans not we're gonna have to use we're gonna have to use the one from uh my past streams the uh really bad webcam so just glue that on and no one wants that webcam get back okay gun sights You go. That's the 25 pounder from Warlord Games, the uh, mid war Africa 8th uh, Army bundle. It is $85 or uh, it's on sale last time I checked, like $80 USD. Uh, though you are paying for the gun on itself, which is usually around 30. And then the truck itself, which is another about like. Somewhere. Usually when they bundle things together, deals like this, it's usually cheaper, if not about the same price, but they usually give you bonus things like that. They give you the cards here. Uh, they give you the trailer, which is exclusive to this set, I believe. You could buy this gun by itself if you just needed the gun. You can buy the truck by itself. But normally when they make these bundles, they make them the bundles that are going to be together and used. So it is just better to get this this bundle here. So I still have some battery left. Left.